for most of us, Christmas was a couple of weeks ago, but it has just arrived for one Toronto woman. Live we'll to Tom Hayes now with the heartwarming efforts of a good Samaritan and a sharp-eyed officer, Tom. Yeah, Roger. So here's the question. If you found $200 cash on the ground, would you turn it into police? Well, one person did, which made one Toronto senior very happy. Not very often you get Toronto police knocking on your door, Toronto police. especially to deliver $200 Hi. in cash. Okay, this is your $200 for you, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's returned to you now, okay? But this is a very different You're kind very of story. Welcome. The story starts here on Spadina three days before Christmas. A 75 year old woman with $200 cash in her purse out to buy Christmas dinner. <laughs> that victim was Georgina Feria. She speaks no English, but it's easy to understand what went wrong. Oh, she had her purse open. Her wallet was inside the purse and the purse was open. Georgina and her husband left Portugal for Canada in 1969 for a better life. She worked hard raising a family by cleaning houses. 200 bucks is a lot of money. Well, she still doesn't understand how someone out there can actually return the, the, the money that she that was in the wallet. Very nice, nice. <laughs> But this story only has a happy ending because of some old-fashioned police work. Sergeant Jessica McKinnis was reviewing hundreds of reports when she noticed a match. And the locations, the date and time was the exact same. The day it was lost and the day it was found was the exact same. Yes, the $200 cash was found and turned in by a young lady who wants to remain anonymous. I have a hard time believing that. Like, who turns in $200? Cash. Cash before Christmas. Yeah. There are good people out there. The wallet is still missing, and if you look on the wall of Georgina's living room, you'll understand why she would also like the wallet back. I about the money, I want the wallet. <laughs> my, my grandkids' pictures are in the wallet. I, I want know, the wallet right? back, and I said the pictures can be replaced. Like, yeah. Don't worry about that. You're welcome. Communicating the best way she can meant lots of hugs for Sergeant McInnes. But before the officer left, Georgina does manage some broken English to show her appreciation for a good Samaritan and a place she adopted so many years ago. Canada, talking milk So nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Now, police think it could have been the work of a pickpocket, and they're still hoping that maybe the wallet will still be found once the snow melts in the spring.